the uh, role that I had as a scientist at Bristol Myers Squibb, and actually before I joined uh, the industry as a scientist as well, was to focus on discovering, helping to discover molecules and uh, chemicals that can be used in the development of medicines, or sometimes we call them drugs, but these are the good drugs. Um, that process sometimes involves looking at nature and seeing what nature has done and produced and using the, those products, which we call natural products, to give us ideas. Um, some of the ideas have nothing really to do with nature in the first place, but those we sometimes refer to as synthetic products. And they we're going to be talking we're about that. We're going to talk about the mix depth. of the two right. here as well. Uh, but the, the, the research that has combined my interest in, in snakes with that of uh, making mm -hmm. medicines uh, actually has to do with, with my uh, research interest in snake venom specifically. There's one story in particular that you've told me in the past that I think is just fascinating. Yeah, it's uh, the case of the fer de lance. That snake has a venom that is very much specialized on affecting the cardiovascular system. Uh, it does that by uh, one of its chemical components that we call an enzyme. The enzyme is a protein that's actually work, a working protein that breaks down other, other elements. Now, this particular protein or this, this peptide, which is a chemis, chemical made up from amino acids, functions by affecting the vessel wall, the blood vessel wall. Of course, the blood vessels are where the blood uh, flows through in addition to breaking up red blood cells, which is also a, a function of this particular venom, it will relax. It will make the cells, the muscle cells in the blood vessels relax, and it m widens the blood vessels. That means that more blood can come through, and you can actually lower blood pressure, pressure that way. Now, when we learned about that, we took this, uh, actually scientists, I wasn't part of that particular work myself, but scientists then isolated this, this peptide and learned how to mimic it, how to build a synthetic, a, an artificial molecule in the test tube that looked just like it but was not poisonous. Didn't do the bad things but did all the good things. And now that has been developed into a medicine that helps people with high blood pressure.